Hello everyone, my name is Helen Beth Driver. I will be your instructor for English 101. Now for many of you, this might be your first course at APUS, but do not worry. I recognize that this is an introductory writing course and I'm not expecting perfection in this course. Instead, what I'm going to do and my plan is to show you the components of an essay to help you write a great essay by the end of this course. So one quick thing before we begin, this is an informal video. So I might make mistakes as I'm teaching you. Please keep that in mind. And excuse me in advance if I talk over myself or make mistakes as I am giving you my little lecture. So anyway, after that, let's go ahead and start. This is the home page for Brightspace. And every week, I want you to review the announcements. So let's go ahead and click on announcements. And you're going to see a number of them. Basically, at the beginning of every week, I'm going to post a new announcement, giving you some ideas of my expectations for this course. Sometimes I also upload videos that could help you. And many of the videos are also located in the lessons, which we will go to right now. So. After you review the announcements for the week, I want you to click on content. This is where your weekly lesson is located. So this week, what I want you to do is go through course overview and introduction. You need to go through all of these and especially I want you to review the syllabus. I want you to review the discussion guidelines and my late policy. So the syllabus gives you an idea of what you will have to do for the entire course and how I break down the grading. The late policy gives you some ideas about how I deal with assignments that are handed in late. This is not a correspondence course. I do expect you to hand in your assignments on time, but I will work with you if you have an extenuating circumstance. And then we'll come back to the welcome discussion in a few moments. So after you review all of these, I want you to go ahead and click on week one. Then you click on launch unit. This just gives you a basic overview about what you will be learning this week. So you're gonna write an introduction as I'm sure you probably figured out. Then you're going to do a free write and I'm gonna give you some information about that in a few moments. You're going to understand the five steps in the writing process. I don't expect you to do all five today. It's just good for you to know how you approach an essay using these five steps. All right, so let's move on. All right, so in this course, all of your readings will be located online. So each week you will see your readings and sometimes you don't have any. So let's click on the week one reading. This basically gives you some ideas on how to approach the beginning writing stage with writing, with an essay. So anyway, it gives you some information about why you should pre-write and so on and so forth. But here's the deal. Many of you use Waze or Google Maps some of you did not, like me, uh, back in the 90s and 80s. Prior to that, when we wanted to go somewhere, we would have to write out a plan to help us get to where we want to be. We would easy, either use a map to help us or we'd write it down on a piece of paper or we'd at least have it in our mind. Okay, you need to take this street, you need to take that street, you need to get here. So if you want to get to somewhere, you need to have a plan. This works with driving and this also works with writing. You have to have a plan. If you don't have a plan and if you don't prepare yourself, you're going to go all over, all over the place. Just like driving, you have to know where you're going. Writing, you have to know where you're going and need to plan it out or you're not going to have a good essay. So this week, that's what our focus is on, pre-writing. All right, so this basically is after, so I'm gonna go back to content again. I'm gonna show you where I am. All right, so we've gone through the reading and resources. So next you're gonna go through the writing process. 
it gives you this lesson gives you more detail that you saw within that you will see within the readings all right so let's click through that and as i mentioned before preparation is the key so you need to prepare before you write an essay you don't just want to hand in an essay and i've mentioned this before with the maps but what drives me crazy is students hand in their drafts that is not an essay that's just a draft you need to make multiple versions of a writing project before you hand it in as your final draft it takes a lot of time writing does take a lot of time and i'll admit that it's not something that you can just do overnight and hand it in procrastination causes you to write a poor essay you need to make sure you save enough time to be able to approach a written work all right so another thing that i want you to understand that is really really important is your thesis statement now remember how i was talking about maps and plans well the thesis statement is the place you want to end up so just like when you're driving you want to go somewhere a thesis statement is where you want to go with your essay and you're letting your reader know what your point is so again let's go back to that analogy let's say you want to go to new york from atlanta it's a long drive but let's say that's what you want to do you don't just want to go to new york you want to go to a specific place in new york right and you know that point that's what you're working towards when you take that drive a thesis statement is the same thing. It's your point. You're working towards that overall point. If you don't have a point, your, your paper is going to go all over, the, all over the place. Just like driving, if you don't have an end point, you're going to be going all over the place. All right? Also known as cruising. Which is fun for you, but it's still, you're not going anywhere. You're just cruising around. Anyway. So... I want to tell you another couple of things is that sometimes students just after they write a draft just edit their work what's editing well i mean it's just what it says you fix little things in your essay right you fix grammar you fix spelling errors but the problem with that is that sometimes you neglect the revision process now this is key all right so let's say you have a topic in mind You've done your pre-writing, you developed your thesis, your point, where you want to go. Then you, you make a draft and then you hand it in after you, you edit it. But then you just skipped the most important point or one of the most important steps, the revision. The revision means you take your essay, you see it as a whole, you read your thesis and you think to yourself, did I prove that thesis? Does it make sense? and you rework paragraphs, you revise it, moving paragraphs here and there, you add some transitions. This is an important step. Then you get to editing where you fix your grammar. All right, so, so far we've discussed several different processes. We've started with the brainstorming. We started with the thesis, which is where you want to go. We've discussed revising, which is what you develop after your thesis, and then editing for grammar mistakes. After you do all of this, guess what you get to do? Turn in your work, all right? So there are five writing processes, five steps to a good paper. And that's the point this week. So after you read through the lesson, and hopefully what I said makes sense, but like I said before, this is a very informal video. I'm sure the lesson explains a lot better than, than me. Anyway, after you get through the lesson and the little tiny reading you have, what I want you to do is I want you to post in the welcome discussion. You need to post this week if you want to stay in the course. And your initial post needs to be at least 250 words. If not, you will be dropped from the course. I do want you to respond to at least two other students and make sure to respond with a minimum of 100 words. All right. Now this week, I'm allowing you to hand in your discussions by uh, Sunday midnight because I recognize that a lot of you might have registration issues and so on. 
but let's take a look at the forum rubric. There are dates for the initial discussions in this course, and so make sure to read each dis discussion carefully. The initial post is due before the final res responses. Also note this, your initial post is worth 50 points. Guess what? Your responses are also worth 50, 50 points. Do not neglect your responses to your students. That's all as important as your initial post. All right, so let's get back to the main screen. And that's basically everything you need to think about, work on, and consider this first week. Hopefully I didn't scare you. Hopefully this video helped. If not, feel free to post in the open Q&A forum. I am sure that your question is everyone else's question as well. I'm glad you're in the course and I will see you online.